Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, initiation steps in radical mechanisms and initiators. Initiation is the process of generating radicals where we often don't have radicals present. In the next video, we're going to start talking about, or in, a, in a, maybe two videos, we're going to talk about uh, the different types of radical mechanism steps. And the first uh, one that we're going to talk about is homolytic cleavage, uh, where homolytic cleavage is when a single sigma bond breaks, generating two radicals. Almost all of oh, two radicals. What am I? Almost all initiation steps are actually homolytic cleavage steps because they are one of the few ways that you can generate radicals where you don't have them. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and show an example of what that looks like. Uh, so here is chlorine. This is a chlorine molecule. The homolytic cleavage step is one in where the chlorine-chlorine bond breaks. The electron pair in that bond, uh, one of those electrons in that pair goes with one chlorine atom, and the other one goes with the other chlorine atom. And you form two chlorine atoms, or, or in the understanding of where we are, these are also chlorine radicals. And so you ended up generating radicals where you didn't have any before. Now, some bonds, some single bonds are weak enough that this can kind of just happen on our own. But Often initiation requires one of the following, and what we really need is some energy input to break that bond. Uh, this energy input can come in the form of heat. Uh, it can come in the form of UV irradiation, and this is a particularly uh, popular one because it is a uh, this comes in form of UV radiation. It's popular because it um, often doesn't do anything else. Like where you heat something up, you might promote other reactions going on. And UV radiation is often noted uh, as H nu, and the Greek letter nu looks like the, the English letter V, uh, where this comes from that general chemistry equation, E equals H nu for the energy of a photon. So this is our shorthand for UV irradiation, or we need some kind of radical initiator. Maybe in the molecules we're using in our reaction, there isn't any bond weak enough to be broken uh, through homolytic cleavage directly. So we need to add something uh, as a radical initiator to get this started. And one uh, very common group of molecules used as radical initiators are peroxides. And peroxides have the generic form of ROOR with an oxygen-oxygen single bond in there. Uh, and the oxygen-oxygen single bond is not very strong. Uh, just give me a moment. I know where I can look it up real quick. I apologize for not just having it right in there in my brain. Uh, we're talking about 213 kilojoules per mole uh, to compare to the hydrogen-oxygen bond in water. Uh, that hydrogen-oxygen bond is 498 kilojoules per mole. So this is this is about half the strength of other single bonds involving oxygen. And so the carb the or so the oxygen-oxygen single bond can undergo homolytic cleavage given the right sorts of energy input. Those look bad. Give me a moment. Here we go. 
There we go. That looks better. Uh, given the right sort of energy input to form alkoxyl radicals, which then can go off and do do whatever we need them to do. And generally, uh, I want to get, let's see, I'll get my box here. If you see H nu or you see a peroxide around, uh, you know, hanging out over or under a reaction arrow, that's a pretty good clue that you're going to be doing a radical reaction with a radical mechanism. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, radical inhibitors, things that prevent radical mechanisms from happening, since we just talked about radical initiators. Uh, and in the following videos, I'll go into the different types of radical mechanism steps. Thanks for watching.